hi my lovely people welcome back again to another quick tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how you can simply enhance your ram speed using the virtual memory settings in windows 11 10 8 or 7. these settings will definitely improve the performance of your pc especially if you have low ram installed virtual memory is simply part of your hard disk space or ssd space that is set to support the ram to enable run more programs faster and smoothly this improvement is more noticeable when the solid state drive is used instead of the mechanical traditional hard drive. Even without using an SSD, this will still improve your system performance when you have low RAM installed. To begin, let's demonstrate with Windows 11, then the other versions of Windows will follow. For Windows 11, click Start, Settings, then scroll down and click About. Click Advanced Settings. Under Performance, click Settings. Then click Advanced Tab. Under Virtual Memory, click Change. Please follow the rest of the video to set your virtual memory. For Windows 10, 8, 7, click on this folder. Then this PC. Now, right click on this white background and click on properties. You can see my RAM size installed which is 4GB. Now, let's set the virtual memory to support the RAM. To do this, click on advanced system settings. Then under performance, you will see visual effect, processor scheduling, memory usage and virtual memory. Click on settings. Then again advanced tab. Then, down the page, you will see virtual memory. Here, you see a paging file as an area on a hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. So, click on Change. Now, uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File for All Drives. You can see C drive is where automatically selected to create a virtual memory. Also, you can see Windows recommends about 1.4 GB, but 2.9 GB is what that is currently allocated. So, to adjust these settings, click on the custom size. Then, I'll double up my 4 GB RAM size to get 8 GB instead. To do this, please note that 1024 is equal to 1 GB. So, 8 GB is 1024 multiplied by 8, getting 8192 MB. So, I'll enter my initial size of 2944. And the maximum as 8192. Then click on Set button. Then OK. Then you'll be told you need to restart for changes to take effect. So, OK. Then apply and OK. Then OK again. Here you can choose to restart now or later if you have all your work saved. So that's the end of today's video. If you got value from this, please leave us a like and also click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.